Hello friends, whether you are planning to install tiles or marble, this video will help you choose the right option and ensure the job is done right. I will show you how to check if the tile work is properly done, how to avoid getting cheated, what kind of grout you should use, what the labor charges are and whether painting should be done before or after tiling. Basically, if you are about to install flooring, don't skip this video. It is a little long but the information here will save you money and ensure top-notch quality. Let us begin with the biggest question, marble or tiles. Flooring is not something you change every couple of years. It stays for 20 to 25 years. So making the right decision now is super important. Let us talk about marble first. Marble is a natural stone mostly sourced from places like Rajasthan. It comes in white, black, green, yellow, basic natural colors. Looks-wise, marble is classic and elegant. But biggest con of marble, it is porous. It absorbs water and stains over time. Once it starts soaking up water, patches and dullness appear. And here is the real catch. When marble is mined, not all of it is good. Defective pieces are often patched up with adhesive and stone dust. Just like repairing wood. You won't even know you have been sold such marble. So if you are going for marble, remember this, don't go cheap. Forget 40 rupees per square feet marble you saw on YouTube. That is low quality. Even 80 to 90 rupees per square feet marble can be a risk if you are not buying from a reliable vendor. For high quality marble, expect to spend around 200 to 250 rupees per square feet, including polishing and finishing. Installation takes time too. For a 12 feet by 12 feet room, it may take 5 to 6 days. There is a lot of cutting, laying, grinding and polishing involved and marble also leads to high wastage. Live in a cold region, then skip marble. It stays cold underfoot, especially in winter. It is slippery, hard to maintain and not ideal for areas with heavy foot traffic. Now let us talk about tiles. Tiles today, especially vitrified and HD tiles, are available in finishes so good, they look just like marble. For example, Kajaria's 12mm marble finish tiles are 6 to 7 feet long and 3 feet wide and give you the same look as marble with less cost and hassle. Cost wise, good quality vitrified tiles start at 50 rupees per square feet and including labor and materials, you will spend around 90 to 100 rupees per square feet. Tiles also come in tons of designs, textures and colors. You get anti-skid options, easy maintenance and no water absorption. That is a big plus over marble. So here is the bottom line. If you want low maintenance, long lasting, cost effective flooring, go with tiles. If you are ready to spend and maintain regularly, go for good quality marble. Let us compare cost wise for a thousand square feet house. Tiles. 90 to 100 rupees per square feet and the total approximate cost is 1.65 lakh rupees. Marble 250 rupees plus cost per square feet and the total approximate cost is 2.5 to 8.5 lakh rupees depending on the type of marble. Conclusion For the price of basic marble, you can get top tier branded tiles and still save. Now let us talk about labor charges. Wall tiles 16 to 22 rupees per square feet floor tiles 20 to 25 rupees per square feet skirting that is tile border near wall 15 to 18 rupees per running feet marble flooring fixing plus polishing 70 rupees per square feet kota stone flooring 25 to 30 rupees per square feet marble molding that is edge polish half molding 20 rupees per square feet Full molding 25 rupees per square feet. 
if you are giving a full contract tiles plus labor it is 90 to 100 rupees per square feet but be careful contractors may use 30 to 40 rupees per square feet cheap tiles in this package so always select your tile brand yourself prefer vitrified tiles for flooring never ceramic ceramic breaks easily and is meant for walls after tiles are fixed you will notice tiny gaps between them these need to be filled with grout most people wrongly use white cement don't do that white cement cracks over time absorbs moisture collects dust turns black or yellow instead use epoxy grout please note i am not promoting any product here you can use myk laticrit sp100 or ardex endura it is 100% stain free antibacterial chemical and temperature resistant comes in 30 to 40 color options lasts 15 to 20 years coverage for 100 by 100 mm tiles with 3 mm grout width 5 kg grout covers 264 square feet of area don't mix the whole batch at once epoxy sets fast use a putty knife to apply evenly epoxy grout is little costly around 600 to 700 rupees per kg but totally worth it cheaper grouts exist but won't last before handing over final payment to the contractor check these seven things carefully number 1 skirting cracks check if tile borders are cracked poor curing causes detachment later number 2 hollow sound tap tiles if they sound hollow mortar is missing underneath they may break easily number 3 grouting done right make sure there are no gaps or missing joints no white cement should be used number 4 bathroom slope pour water near drain does it flow properly if not it is a serious problem number 5 tile surface cleanliness contractor should clean off all cement stains tile should look showroom new number 6 alignment tiles must be properly aligned especially corners misalignment is equal to bad workmanship number 7 no acid wash don't use harsh acid it can dull your tiles dilute well if absolutely necessary now the next big question should you do painting first or tiling first if you do tiling first painters may scratch tiles with ladders and scaffolding if you do painting first cement dust from tile cutting will stick to walls so the best solution is do 50 to 60% painting first base putty and sealing then do tiling after tiles are installed do final painting protect tiles using plastic sheets or floor mats or if your work is very organized do full flooring then doors windows then electrical and finally complete the painting so that is your complete flooring guide whether you go for tiles or marble now you know what to choose how to check the work what materials and brands to use and how to plan your finishing stage right so friends see you in the next video thanks for watching